Well, hello and welcome. My name is Kehan Parsi. I'm the Graduate Program Director here at the Nice Wonger Institute for Bioethics and Health Policy. I wanted to welcome you all to another semester here in our program. And what I'd like to do in the next few minutes is just to give you a brief introduction to one of our courses, Principles of Healthcare Ethics. Uh, this is a course that's been offered uh, many times before. And what we're going to do this fall semester is teach it in a team approach. So I'll teach part of it. Dr. Hart will teach part of it. And then we have a, an outside expert teaching part of it. So basically what we're going to do in this course is split up the primary readings into three different areas. And the three main texts, as you all have uh, figured out by now, if you purchase your books online, is first Beechman Childress, Principles of Biomedical Ethics, which is considered one of the, the major works in the field. And that will be taught by Dr. Chalmers Clark. Dr. Clark is a philosopher by training. He's um, had uh, an affiliation with Union College in upstate New York. And he'll be guest lecturing for the first four or five weeks of the course and teaching uh, primarily that text. And then we'll switch over to John Hart, who will teach uh, Foundations of Bioethics by Tris Englehart. And uh, that, again, is another major work in the field. It's been around for 20 years. Um, the current edition is the second edition that uh, John will be teaching from. And so I'll just um, have John tell you a little bit about his background for those of you new to the program and, and tell you a little bit about uh, his focus for that part of the semester. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is John Hart. I work with Kahan and Mark at the uh, Neiswanger Institute. And uh, we will be reading H. Tristram Englehart's book. He's better known as Tris Englehart. He's a big figure in bioethics, and this is one of his famous texts. In this text, he talks about how it is that we can all come to agree on a bioethics, even though we are what he calls moral strangers. That is, we don't come to the table with the same background set of principles and ideas and moral commitments that would allow us to talk to each other. Um, but he still holds out hope that such an ethic is possible, and we'll be exploring why he thinks that through this book. So that will be the second part of the course. And then the third part of the course will be taught by me. And the focus of that uh, part of the semester will be a book by Gert Culver and Clouser called Bioethics, a Systematic Approach. This is a book that also is in second edition. It was published several years ago under a different title called Bioethics, a Return to Fundamentals. And Gert Culver Clouser, um, they deal with bioethics in uh, what I would call a kind of common morality approach to bioethics. So we have Beachman Childress that take a principle-based approach to bioethics and bioethics problems. And then you have someone like Englehart, who, as uh, Dr. Hart mentioned, is uh, someone who's interested in this whole issue of pluralism and moral strangers and moral friends and how do we negotiate all of our moral differences in, in a very morally fragmented world, as he would put it. And then lastly, the Gert Culver Clouser book, which um, in a lot of ways I think is probably the most accessible in the sense that they're really building on what they think is a common morality that we, we probably all ascribe to whether we live here in the West or in other parts of the world or whether we're healthcare professionals or not healthcare professionals. So they're building on this kind of common morality that everyone uh, pretty much abides by um, whether they're doing work in bioethics or not. So those are the three major texts that we'll be using in this course. And again, the reason I selected them is because I think they provide what I believe to be a sound theoretical framework and foundation for doing bioethics. And part of my interest in doing such is because I, I want you all to develop um, uh, a sound uh, bioethics literacy, uh, to put it in, in that kind of framework, in the sense that you know when you go to conferences, when you do other readings, when you're writing your own papers, you have a, a common set of, of words and vocabularies and concepts and terms that you all understand and so that when you talk to your colleagues, you talk to faculty, you talk to other people at other settings, um, you know what people are talking about. You know what a moral stranger is. You know what principle-based bioethics is. You know what a common morality is. So I think it's a very um, appropriate way to, to get you all started in this kind of foundational course. and then. Overlaying all three of those major works is a book that um, I've, I've been actually very impressed with, with the kind of reception um, it's generated from our students in a previous course, and it's a book called Stories Matter by uh, Rita Sharon and Martha Montello. And this book is um, a very nice anthology of essays by really some of the leading thinkers in narrative ethics, people like Catherine Montgomery and Anne Hudson-Jones. Um, 
and uh, Hilde Nelson, um, and they're thinking about how does narrative play a role in bioethics. So we have these other kinds of theoretical frameworks to dealing with bioethics, but how does narrative and stories and patient narratives, how does that all play a role in our understanding of what it means to be sick and ill and finite beings? So I think it's a very um, nice complement to the other works that we'll be dealing with throughout the semester. And we'll be reading at least a couple of selections from that book every week. So as we go through the course week by week, we'll have a couple of uh, discussion threads devoted to one of the three major works that we'll be looking at. But then every week, we'll also have at least one thread devoted to uh, two of the readings out of this book. And I think it does, again, provide a nice complement to what I think of as really the dom some of the dominant ways of thinking, especially the principle-based bioethics book by uh, Beachman Shoulders, which, again, has become really the Bible of secular bioethics in the United States. Um, so I think it's important for us to, to think through these alternative approaches to bioethics. And I think, again, this provides a nice um, starting point for us. So now that you've been introduced to the text for this course this semester, let me just say a few things about how we'll proceed for the remainder of our time together this year. For those of you who are familiar with the online environment, much of this won't be new. But for those of you who are new to the program, uh, this is what you can expect. Our courses will start on Monday. And this year, all of our courses will start on Mondays and close on Sundays. So everyone will be on the same schedule. We won't have some of the confusion we had last year with starting and stopping each week. Monday is the first day. After first responders post their initial responses to questions, each of you will be expected to make two posts that week uh, that will be tied directly to the readings for that week. And you'll also be asked to engage your classmates based on their uh, initial responses and those first responses. In addition to that, we're going to have the standard midterm and final. Your midterm assignment will be a brief writing assignment, a kind of commentary that will be closely tied to the approaches that we're studying this year in principles, namely principle-based approaches to bioethics and narrative-based approaches to bioethics. Finally, we'll have the final paper. That's going to be a scholarly academic paper uh, with uh, research citations, et cetera. The length will be 3,000 to 3,500 words. And the goal is that you would write something of publishable quality. We would love to see you try to publish it but the expectation is that it's a publishable quality. I think that covers it for the year. It'll be great to uh, have you guys. We're looking forward to having you in class. If you do have any questions for us, you should feel free to email myself or Kehan. We're happy to hear from you. And we'll look forward to seeing you in just a, a few days here. Thanks.